Cheerio. Chung here. Hi everybody, welcome to this week's Taekwondo Thursday. Today we're going to talk about three-step sparring and the main principles of it. A few weeks back I did an episode on the differences between three-step and semi-free sparring, but I didn't really flesh into them too much. I just went through the main differences between them. Today, let's let's flesh out three-step a little bit. I'm going to work here with my partner, Mr. Conan, and we'll go through the main principles of it today. Let's get started. Show you. Chung We start semi-free from, I beg your pardon, three-step, from parallel ready stance. First thing we need to look at is measuring up. We're going to start off with middle attacks. So I measure up with my right foot, it's always the right foot, halfway along. My big toe goes halfway along the defender's foot. I adjust my left foot, that's also really important. Every part of this is important. None of it is kind of optional, really. <laughs> adjust the left foot, then step back into a left walking stance with a forearm low block. And you attack from here. Now I don't attack until the defender does a key up back to me. Once he does, I am then free to do my three attacks: walking stance, middle punch. It's up to my partner to defend those attacks. It's up to him to block them, and then he gets to do a counter attack at the end. We're not going to run through all the combinations in this video because I, it's just hitting the main principles that I want to do today. We'll do one just to show you any block, Mr. Connor. Are you ready? Key up first. Good. Now, if you look, you can see my foot has overlapped. This is crucial. I measured here. I must step to there when I attack. A lot of times people step short. So there's no, actually no danger of hitting the person. We must be familiar with training of Taekwondo Secret number five, remember? Be familiar with the distance and angle for defense and attack. I need to overlap. And on all three steps, I need to make sure my stances are the correct length and width so my feet overlap. Pros are. Sure. Thank you. Let's look at what happens if the defender's stances aren't done correctly. So from here, uh, let's come this way slightly. Okay. So one, now two. If his stances are done too small, I'm going to get in his face probably after only two. Now I've done a very small one here because I can sense I'm already getting closer. But look, full length, now I'm on top of him. So the defender's job is to do their stances properly and to do their blocks properly. Thank you, sir. The, the key two principles for the attacker are do your stances properly, punch center line. This is the other key point. Punch center line attackers. When you punch shoulder line, you are facilitating the defender to do b really easy blocks. They don't really work. And then when another partner comes along who is punching center line, the same blocks will likely miss because they haven't been training for blocking real attacks. So attackers attack with purpose, with intent, explosive, right down their throats, punch center line. This will really test your partner's blocks. Remember, you don't want them to block. It's a, it's a duel. It's a combat situation. It's best of three. Three punches against three blocks. Let's see who wins. That's how you want to train your three sub sparring. So, I think we've covered all the main points there for the middle attacks. Let's look at what happens when we go higher low. So from here, I'm just making a touch contact, but as I raise my arm, it's no longer in contact. If I go down, it's no longer in contact. We need to be closer for high or for low attacks. So the measure up is different. Instead of measuring up halfway along the foot, you go big toe all the way to the heel, all the way to the heel, and then adjust your left foot as normal, step back. I'll do a high punch, so chuk you, Mackie, please, sir, sure. when you're ready. Right. So I've got my overlap, he's got his block, and we're happy. He won because he made the block. Okay, so, but if I don't get that distance, I'm not being realistic enough with my attack. So it's important that you step in close. For low attacks, we'll do a low front snap kick. So again, I measure, I'd measure up. Now, high grades don't need to measure up all the time. Again, applying training secret number five, you'll understand that I didn't measure up every time. Why? I use my eyes and my spatial awareness 
to gauge the right distance. So as you work your way through the grades, by blue belt, you should be comfortable enough to be able to do this without actually measuring up. But for the sake of the educational part of this video, I'm going to measure up. So this time, it's going to be toe, again, all the way to heel, because it's a low attack. So for high attacks or low attacks, go toe all the way to my opponent's heel. Just my left foot, step back. Just a forearm low block whenever you're ready. There. Make sure as you're attacking with front snap kicks, you're not avoiding contact. If you're not used to it, it can be sore, but we don't avoid that. We need to go through that. And that way you will condition your arms, your legs. You have to, it's a martial art, so it's important that we're not avoiding contact. You have to go for contact. You have to explore it, and eventually you become basically impervious to it. So do not be afraid of working your front snap kicks. Half-heartedly doing it. You see your opponent's abdomen, you go for it. And again, it's up to the defender to make sure that they block it. Pro. So that gives you the main principles of three-step sparring, Sam and Matsagi. Going through the combinations is easy once you've understood the main principles and your role as a defender or an attacker. Chiriyat, chunge. Go on. Thank you, sir. Chiriyat, chunge. Take one.